In our quest for financial freedom and financial independence, we have to make sure that we aren't holding ourselves back. And for most people, we are. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five reasons why most people don't become wealthy. Now, hopefully you're a top performer or you're striving to be successful. So if you are in these categories, I hope you actually take action and improve on them. So let's start with number one. The first reason why most people don't become wealthy is because they just never think that they can. They have never even started on this journey. They haven't made the belief or switch that it's possible or you can do things to change your situation. Uh, they don't know that there's habits and mindsets and things that successful people have that ordinary people do not that they can adopt and they highly underestimate the amount of things out there that you can start doing. The second thing is they don't invest in themselves. Most people spend their hard-earned money and the little of it that they have on things that hurt their body and their mind. They buy fast food every day, they spend on clothes or other items that rust, rot, or depreciate and they spend all their money constantly on this stuff. When you're doing this, you're not investing in yourself and you're not improving. That gets us into number three. Successful people know how to spend wisely. So some people convince themselves that certain things are investments when they really aren't. Successful people are very sharp in determining what actually will improve their situation and what do not. Average performers, they oftentimes have convinced themselves that this program or this system will help them and sometimes they're easily tricked and other times they end up buying stuff that are really not investments. A car, I mean, is that really going to improve your intelligence and your knowledge, your business acumen or anything like that? Not really. Number four, Successful people believe in self-investment and learning. So this is different from the what I just said because um, most people, they stop learning when they graduate from college. Others stop learning even earlier at 15 or 14. They just shut off their minds. Or they just keep going until they finally graduate from school and they think that's the end. Now, compare the person who stops learning at 22 years of age from the person who is constantly reading books and picking up just one piece of incredible knowledge from a billionaire or a top athlete every single day and incorporating that into his life. Now, when you look at the seven-day time span of this, there's not going to be too much of a difference. But like the tortoise and the hare, over the next 60 years of that person's life, the man who has these books and is learning, and it doesn't have to be just through books, but the man who's constantly learning slowly gets more and more ahead of the guy who's just sitting there every day and doing nothing. So even just one extra page of reading, although on a short-term basis doesn't seem like much of a big deal, in a long-term basis, can really steamroll your competition. And then the final reason why most people don't become wealthy is simply because they're not really willing to put in the time and effort. People don't realize that successful individuals oftentimes have to sacrifice things or struggle to get there. Now, this doesn't mean you have to sacrifice family time or crucial things and there's that other thing of you know successful people sacrificing too much but most individuals don't sacrifice anything they're sitting on the couch eating potato chips for two hours a day while other people are hustling and getting out there and working hard so for the average person or someone who needs to get the ball rolling these individuals are not really even beginning to start working hard. Now, you're probably not one of those individuals, hopefully. You may be, and if you are, then that's my advice to you. But 
if you're already a successful individual and you're trying to succeed even more, my suggestion to you is start working smarter and not just harder. Oftentimes, the issue for these types of people, which I love, um, is that they really work hard and I love their work ethic, but the issue is they're putting all their time and energy into things that aren't really doing anything for you. They're spending two hours just answering emails when it's simply a distraction. So start working smarter and not harder. If you like these tips, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's a big red subscribe button below this video. It'll let you know when I release my weekly videos every Thursday and you get free training, free videos like this every week. See you guys later. Peace.